This is our video solution to problem seven from our first super quiz. Here we're being asked to compute a partial derivative. This time, without we don't have to approximate anything, we can just use uh, the normal rules of differentiation. Uh, and in this case, we have a function of three variables, x, y, and z, and we want a partial derivative of that function with respect to z. So the important thing to remember when we do this, right, is we're going to treat x and y as constants. All right? That's how we handle our, our business when we're computing partial derivatives. We treat the other variables as if they were constants. So uh, if I'm going to take the partial derivative with respect to z of x over y plus y over z plus z over x, well, the first thing with any derivative, we know it's an additive function, so we can break this up as a partial with respect to z of x over y, plus a partial with respect to z of y over z, plus a partial with respect to z of z over x. Now, this very first function is a constant over a constant. That's just another constant. Take the derivative and you're going to get zero. Okay, how about the second one? Well, we have y over z. So in our heads, we might be thinking y over z is yz to the negative 1. And so I can use the power rule on, on the z to the negative 1 part, and the y just sticks around. So the derivative of this will be negative z to the negative 2. Or if you like, we can make this minus y over z squared. Okay, and then finally we have z over x, and you might say, well, I could do z over x, and think of that as zx to the negative 1. I would hesitate before doing that, because you might start thinking you're going to use the power rule on x to the negative 1, which we're not, because x is a constant here. Right? In fact, this is really better written as 1 over x times z. And you say, oh, look, I just have a constant times z, and the derivative of z is 1, and so I'm just going to be left with the constant. And there we go. There's our partial derivative.